rheumatological diseases can strike people in the prime of their lives. More than just aches and pains caused by aging, these are complex autoimmune diseases. Some of these diseases can affect major organs, including the joints, brain and nerves, heart and blood vessels, lungs, kidneys and skin, causing serious complications that can be life-threatening. Rheumatological diseases are complex autoimmune diseases, where the immune system attacks the body, causing inflammation of affected organs. Rheumatological diseases often strike people when they are in the prime of their lives, at times when they're still in school, working or starting a family. These conditions may also make basic daily routines a struggle and a challenge. Systemic sclerosis, also known as scleroderma, literally means hard skin. An abnormal immune system causes uncontrolled production of fibrous tissue, leading to scarring of organs and blockage of blood vessels. The digestive system, heart, lungs, kidneys, muscles and joints may also be affected. The first symptoms of systemic sclerosis include puffy, swollen fingers, skin hardening or tightness. Hardened skin leads to skin tightening that may decrease joint mobility. There may be an intense itch, widespread skin hardening. Another symptom is Raynaud's phenomenon, where there is a reversible colour change in fingers and toes when exposed to the cold due to poor blood circulation. When severe, it can even lead to ulcers. Other symptoms that may appear are joint pain and swelling, muscle weakness, breathlessness or persistent dry cough due to lung involvement, fatigue with very high blood pressure due to kidney involvement, chest pains or irregular heartbeat, heartburn, swallowing difficulties, constipation, diarrhea, loss of bowel control or weight loss. When major organ complications develop, a patient's lifespan is significantly reduced. Heart and lung complications are major causes of fatality in systemic sclerosis. I wasn't able to concentrate on my work due to the reflux and heartburns. There was once where it got my fingers got too dry and it cracked by itself that I was admitted to the hospital. As a first patient of scleroderma going through the stem cell transplant, I believe this research has helped me and my family uh, in giving us more options to seek what kind of treatments and support that I should receive. Effective management of systemic sclerosis is based on early diagnosis of organ involvement, alleviating symptoms and limiting damage to organs. Specialised and dedicated scleroderma clinics have been shown to result in better outcomes for patients. If you or your loved one have or suspect that you might have any one of these five rheumatological diseases, please see your doctor for evaluation and treatment. Research is the only way we can improve outcomes for patients with rheumatological diseases. Please consider partnering with us to accelerate discoveries and uncover cures for these patients. We hope you have found this information useful. Thank you for watching.